All right, hello everyone. So I figured I would make a uh, tutorial on the uh, the new stale reference manipulation, the invisible chest glitch for uh, Majora's Mask. Uh, this is a glitch that's basically affecting every category in the game right now. And um, I don't know, people have been asking about it, about how to do it and stuff, so um, it's definitely a very um, complex trick internally, but like, on the surface, it's really not that difficult to pull off. Uh, there's a few angles and stuff in the trick that are pretty um, important to like understand and know, I would say. So, uh, in the description, I'm gonna put, if you see these, these two uh, numbers, the, uh, the one that's changing below the, the B button and... Uh, the one below that. The, the top one is Link's angle. So just wherever he's facing, it's going to change. And then the bottom one is going to be uh, the collision angle uh, for Link. And I'll go into that in a little bit. Um, but I would definitely, if you have a Wii, just download uh, KZ. It's the... Uh, I'll also put this in the description. It's the uh, practice ROM for this game. Uh, it's got a lot of tools and stuff to be able to practice. Like the warps, cheats, all this stuff. But yeah, so um, I'm playing on the Wii Virtual Console version of the game. Uh, on the English version is uh, how this is going to work. But um, I'm just going to re-enter this area. So um, this glitch is done with a glitch called Stale Reference Manipulation. And uh, the way that I can describe it is it's a new glitch that essentially is rearranging actors within two areas connected by a loading plane. Not a load zone, but a load plane. Um, and basically an example of a load zone would be like if, you are, if I were to go into Clock Town right there, that's a load zone. Uh, but a loading plane is... I'll just show you what this is really quick. Um, a load plane is where the game is able to just like quickly load a new area without, you know, making the screen turn dark. So like this is a load plane. So this is the observatory and this is the bomber hideout. Um, and I just like went through the load plane to get through here. But this load plane is what allows this glitch to work because what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm moving uh, a certain actor in this room, which is going to be a certain pot right here, uh, into this room over here. Um, and it just makes the game really freaked out and weird. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to show you guys um, how this is done. Um, and then I'll, I'll do as many item setups as I know. Um, in my head, I know all the all dungeon setups and all of the 100% uh, setups. So, if you're interested in learning one of those categories, um, that's definitely all I can provide right now. I don't know what the all mask stuff we need. It's probably going to be similar to 100%, I would say. Um, but basically, before I do it, I'm just going to explain what I'm doing. So, I'm going to be moving in and out of these two rooms, like dropping bombs, doing some weird stuff, and what that's doing is it's like doing the, the actor thing, like it's changing around the, the, the memory and the areas, uh, the actors and stuff, to create a perfect uh, actor heap that's gonna allow us to make the chest on that side, it's gonna turn it into a chest that lets us uh, get a bunch of items from it. So. Let me just show you guys how to set up the glitch really quick. So you can just come in here. Uh, this is basically where we go for all the categories. So in 100%, you'd obviously you jump up there, talk to him, and then jump down. So if you make a mistake with any of this stuff, you're going to have to just reload the area like entirely because it's going to mess up the entire actor heap. So... Uh, to set up this one, uh, what we do is we come over and we break this pot. Um, it's got to be this back one, and you also have to pick up the magic that it drops. If you don't, then it won't work. Um, and then what you do is you want to drop a bomb here and then go through the uh, load plane so that the bomb unloads before it blows up. 
So there you go. So now the bombs, it didn't blow up and it's gone. So then you want to go back in this area again. Um, and then you want to break this pot and pick up the rupee that it has. Then enter this area. And then this time you're going to want to drop another bomb on this side. And let it unload. And then, so now it's set up. So the actor heap is set up. And all we have to do is, if you looked in my other uh, Moon Warp tutorial video, I showed how you do the pot super slide into that load plane uh, in Deku Palace. We're basically going to do that with this. Uh, this one's a little more tricky, though, because we need an inverted camera for this. So, um, so this is how you set up the super slide. I would say this is the most difficult part of the entire trick. Um, but in order to get inverted camera, uh, it's a little tricky. Like, I fail it a lot. But um, it is... I, I guess I can put the... Uh, the inputs in the description as well, but um, I think it is you target for the first frame and then you I think it's on target after let me try this so So target for the first frame And then that's two frames three I think that was five And then that's frame six. Yeah, I don't even know, dude. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's you target on the first frame, and then you release target for five frames, press the direction on the sixth frame, and then retarget on the seventh frame. So in one go, you can just watch the input display. It looks like this. Like, I know how to do it that way better than pause buffering it, I guess. But you, you're going to want to get an inverted camera to where Link is facing right. Um, there's different ways that you can do this, but I find that this is the easiest way to do it. Um, so when this happens, you... I'm not going to do it yet, but you drop a bomb in a certain spot, and then you just do a super slide off of the spot. So a super slide is just you have your target and your shield, and then you roll into the pot, and then as soon as you roll into the pot, you're going to want to release target, and then release shield after you go in the load plane. So the place that you're gonna wanna drop the bomb is, this is another poop stain setup that we got here. So there's this white line here. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's like a, like a upside down Z turd or something. So, so, so the, the poop stain is there. And what you do is you wanna line Link's hat up with, do you see where the poop stain, like, it goes down a little bit and then to the right, the long part to the right? You're gonna wanna put his hat, the tip of his hat, to the right of where it goes down. So, like, in this area is, is probably good. Uh, if you go too far this way, you're not gonna super slide off the pot at all. And if you go too far this way, the pot's gonna blow up and then you have to just reload the entire area. So, um, you wanna get your angle or get your inverted cam. So,. After that, you're gonna to wanna to drop your bomb and then do your super slide. Uh, I would just watch my input display here. Uh, it'd probably be the easiest way to understand it. Stand about this close. Do your super slide and then release shield as soon as you're in this load plane. So now what's going on is I, I'm holding, I'm like holding the pot, but the pot's like in the other room still. It's, it's I don't know, it's, it's very strange. So. Um, I'm going to backwalk through this load plane again. And this is very important. You want to backwalk all the way back into the room. Like, make sure that you don't hear the sound of the torch in uh, the bomber side out. That's, that's definitely very important. So, uh, I did my backwalk, and then we're going to go back again. Okay, so you know you did it correctly if you're still holding this, the pot over your head. If you lose... If Link just, like, drops the pot for no reason, then that means you messed up the, uh, the actor heap. Um, then you're gonna have to start over again. But, so now, we need to get a... Link's angle needs to be 1134, it needs to say, on the, uh, like, the first... 
number, the one that's changing up here. Uh, and the way that we're going to do that is we're going to do a setup really quick. Um, and it's going to be able to give us that precise 1134 angle that we need to be able to create that invisible chest. So, um, you want to target this wall. I target, uh, this, like, black line texture. I line it up with this hat here. Um, you can see, for reference, like, there's the two black lines here. I, I look for that, and then th the black line to the left of that one is, uh, the one that I look for. So I line it up, and then you're gonna want to back walk till you hit the wall. So, um, so now you're just like on the wall. Actually, you're gonna want to do this. You don't want to you don't want to pause too fast. You want to make sure that link is uh, like kind of standing straight up like that because if you do it too fast, like that, do you see how link is like? He's not like standing straight up. I guess his hands. Yeah, I guess his hands open up when he's standing straight up. So you're gonna want to wait till his hands open up, I guess, for this to work. Because if you do it too early, then it won't work. But you target this wall, you back walk till his hands are up. Then you want to do one down input, like just down on the control stick. So there's one. And then it's gonna be seven frames holding left. So I'll count it out and then I'll show you my visual cue. So one, two, or two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, wait, seven, there we go. Okay, so this is what we want. So do you see how his right hand is sort of uh, lining up with that, that dark line there? There's like a dark line uh, below the brick. You want his hand to line up with that. Uh, and when it does, uh, you can just unpause, then you can target, and if you hold forward with this target, you see how it changed to 1134 like that? Like, you can just walk right into this balloon. Um, it'll change to 1134, and then all you do is you shield drop it as you're walking forward like this. So then it's good. So now the chest is going to work. So, depending on what uh, category, I mean, like, in 100% you'll have Goron here, so you can, like, go fast through here with Goron. But, um, yeah, so then you make your way over to the chest, over here. And then, if you did this right, uh, first of all, this won't crash, if you did it right. Okay, it didn't crash. I think the only way it can crash is if this wall is already broken, which it shouldn't be, if you're doing a run. But, you just break the wall. Alright, so there's the chest that we're going to get all of our items from, so... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to target this wall, so we can get a specific angle. So target it, back walk just a little bit so you're away from the wall. You're going to see up, and then you're going to want uh, two frames holding right is what you're going to want. So two frames holding right. So that 3880 for Link's angle, that's what you're going to want. Again, you're not going to be able to see those those... Uh, numbers when you're doing a run, but uh, I mean obviously it's good for practice, so Okay, so this is the angle we want um, and then what we want to do is we want to get into a state called time stop um, And the reason for that is because when you're in time stop You're able to repeatedly open up a chest without the chest Permanently open opening so like you can just like keep doing it over and over again um, So you want to target the wall Get your angle, so. 3880, perfect. So to get time stop, um, what you do is you, you wanna hold a bomb over your head and then back walk as soon as it's about to blow up. And then you can like pause your game after that. So it blew up. Okay, so now you're back walking and to get into the time stop state at this point, you're still holding target, and there is a, you, you can see how there's like a red spark and then like a little white puff above that. So you're gonna wanna pause buffer until both of those go away. Okay, so the pink, or so the puff is still there, the little white puff. Okay, so now it's gone. So what you do is, 
when you unpause, you press Ocarina and Shield. Well, you basically just want to press a cutscene item and shield, but like Ocarina is a cutscene item. So Ocarina and Shield. Okay, so now we're in time stop. Um, so this is what's going to allow us to open up the chest uh, a bunch of times without it fucking up. So, all right, so now um, I'm just going to go through all the setups uh, for all the items that I know. Um, I actually have something I need to pull up here to be able to know the all dungeon setups because I only have the 100% stuff memorized. Okay, so, um, so the bottom number, this is where the collision angle is going to come into play. Um, so you see the 3 AAE, that's going to be Link's angle. Um, and this is the angle that Link needs to be facing in order to be able to get a seahorse in a bottle, for example. So the seahorse in a bottle setup is uh, starting with 3 AAD. So you just want to face up with Link like this. And then you're going to want a shield turn. Uh, I'm sorry, not shield turn. ESS turn is what I meant. So ESS turn is just when you, you turn Link frame by frame, just barely touching the stick. Um, but you're going to want to turn until you get to, uh, E42E. So, this E42E is important because it's going to allow you to get the correct collision angle to get the seahorse. So, the collision angle is what allows us to get the items themselves. Uh, but this E42E, when you touch the front of the chest, you see how it changes to 242E. That is... That lines up with seahorse in a bottle. So all you have to do is just tap A and you get that. And then he opens the chest. And then it should be seahorse in a bottle. There you go, and there's your seahorse. Perfect. So I'll go through all the setups that I know for all this. Um, just so you guys can see all the setups. I'll, I'll try to like timestamp it or something in the uh, description for all the setups. But uh, next is going to be, I'll do gold dust, even though we don't do this in 100% anymore, I'll do gold dust. So you want to turn down to B88E, and then you're going to want to um, ESS turn six times. Two, three, four, five, six. So a visual cue for this is uh, you can see the blue, um, like the sheath for Link's sword. So like one back is that, and then uh, E2BE is the correct one you want. So then, once again, you're just going to touch the front of the chest. And then open the chest. Make sure that when you touch the chest, you the stick is neutral before you open the chest. Otherwise, if you, if you uh, see this, like if I turn this way, if I just rub up against the chest like this, it's going to constantly change. So you want to be neutral on the stick when you're opening the chest. But there's your gold dust. Uh, so Chateau Romani's next. So you're gonna want to turn to nine uh, A F E is Chateau, and then you just touch the front of the chest, go neutral. And then this is gonna be Chateau Romani. Okay, so that is your Chateau. Uh, next is going to be Shield Turn Holding Right. I'm sorry, shield turn holding left. And then you want to do right ESS and then up ESS for powder keg. So C36 is going to be powder keg. So for powder keg, you're going to want to hold right into the wall till you get C36 for your collision angle. And then you want to backflip off the wall and then open the chest. Make sure when you're opening the chest. So here, I'll do an example here. So. Let's say I want to get uh, mirror shield. So the mirror shield setup is, is easy. Uh, you hold target and all you do is hold left into this wall to get five, two, three, three. And then it's gonna give you mirror shield. But you see how I had to approach the chest slowly in order to get the mirror shield? Um, that's because if you get your collision angle, so the five, two, three, three, I have it. And if I get too close and touch the chest, it's going to change to 772, and that's what we don't want. So, you just have to make sure that when you get your collision angle, 
um, you're not getting too close to the chest to, to the point where you're gonna touch it and like fuck up your collision angle or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so there's Mirror Shield. Uh, next is going to be the new way of Bossa Nova. So shield turn left. And then it's up ESS four times. Two, three, four. And then you want to touch the front of the chest. So six, three, nine, two is what you want. Then you open the chest. And you get new way Bossa Nova. Next is going to be the big bomb bag. So you want to do right ESS at first. And then up ESS until you get to, uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, that's right. So, so hang on, let me let me do this one more time. So your Link's angle is going to need to be. Is that one more? No, it's that one. So two eight five six. That's what you want for Link's angle for this. Then you just hold left and touch this wall, so you get five seven A A. And then this should be the uh, the 30 bomb bag, is this one. Um, so, yeah, so we got all this stuff. We got Bossa Nova. Um, and then, what's after that? What do we usually get? Oh, yeah, after that, uh, you can get um, 10 bomb shoes if you just do one ESS to the right after targeting the chest. So this should be 10 bomb shoes. Um, so then there's other setups, like for this one, this is going to be the, uh, the express mail, uh, the priority mail. And the way that you get the angle for that is if you have a short chest open, like with the bomb shoes, see how you can like get the short chest opening and links facing us. Uh, that's actually important for this setup. So you want to ESS down, I think it's nine frames until you get to EE85. And then 2E85 is going to be Express Mail for the Collision Angle. But yeah, if you mess that one up, um, if you if you mess any of them up that require um, the short chest opening, what you can do is you can just reset it by targeting the chest and just getting more bomb shoes with the one ESS turn. So then now, now you're going to have that. Um, but yeah, and then I already did Mirror Shield. So once again, Mirror Shield is just... Hold left into this wall until 5233. Then open it for mirror shield. Um, okay, so then after that is going to be. You get more bomb shoes again. So you'll have 30 bomb shoes at this point and 100%. Um, okay, so after that is going to be some songs. So shield turn holding right. And then it's going to be, I think, 13 turns to get 53 F6 for Link's angle. This is going to be Sun Song. And then you run, uh, rub up against the chest for Sunsung. So 6C0A is Sunsung. So that's, this is Sunsung. Like, I, I can't click on it or anything. But if I were to play Sunsung, it would work now. Uh, but next is going to be the Goron Lullaby Introduction, which is uh, shield turn holding right. And then I think it's 12 turns. So just one less than Sunsung. And then rub up against the chest for 7312. And then this is going to be the Goron Lullaby introduction. So there it is. Um, then after that, it's going to be shield turn holding right for the uh, big quiver, the 40 quiver. So one, whoops. One, two, three, four. So you want uh, five, four AE for this one. So this should be 40 quiver. Again, I'm just going through all these setups right now. I know this is a lot, <laughs> but like, I just want to cover as many setups as I can. Um, and I'll try to put these in the descriptions too, if I can. But, uh, so there's that. Um, so that should be, yeah, 40 arrows, cool. So then after that is going to be the Razor Sword. So this is target the chest, and then it's two ESS turns to the right bump into this wall and then side hop off the wall so that so i have to side hop holding rights on this one because of the way the controls are in time stop controls are like reversed so you target and then it's going to be your two turns 
and then the side hop off the wall, and then open the chest. Be remember, be careful not to touch the chest. Like, I, I just walk forward slowly and mash A, so that I don't actually touch the chest. But there's your Razor Sword. Um, okay, after that is going to be the 200 Rupee Wallet. So you target the chest. I think this is 20... I don't know, 25 turns or something? I have no idea. So it's right at first, and then ESS up. And then ESS to the left until you get to 5AB0. And then you, you have to bump into this wall for this one, the left wall. So 5AB0. And then you dry roll off the wall. Um, and then this is going to be the 200 rupee wallet. Good lord, this video is long. <laughs> I figured it would be long. Um, but yeah, there's your 200 rupee wallet. Uh, and then you're going to get your uh, title deed now. So target the chest. And then it's six turns to the right. And then open the chest. So this should be the title deed. So those are all the 100% items. 100% items are done. Uh, but I will show the all dungeons items as well if you guys want to see that. Um, so that's done. But actually, you know what? I'll probably I'll I'll show an example for one of these. I'm not going to go through all of them just for the sake of the length of the video. But I'll show you how to do like the C up setup really quick, and then I'll just put the rest of them in the description, like what you're supposed to do. Um, so if you want to get light arrow, for example. Um, you want to have Link facing, I, what I do is I shield turn down, and then I tap C up, and what that does is it puts Link in a, a state to where he turns, this is actually kind of creepy, <laughs> but he turns like really precisely and slowly if you do this, um, but that's going to help with some setups for this to find certain items. So for Light Arrow, it's going to be uh, C up, holding right for one frame. So you're gonna want B4CE for that one. And then ESS to the right one frame to get B, B, D6. And then all you do is you walk into the chest, bump into it, and tap it. So this is gonna be light arrow for all dungeons. I don't know what other categories uh, need this, but yeah, that's gonna be your light arrow. And then I guess I'll show one more example. So if you want Fierce Deity's Mask, you want a shield turn holding left, C up, holding left for one frame. So that'll be uh, 7 C 4 E for Link's Angle. And then ESS right two frames. So this should be Fierce Deity once you bump into the chest. So. 35A2, I think this was right. So this should give you Fierce DD. But yeah, basically, this is how you do it. I'm going to try to put as many setups in the description as I can for you guys. I know there's a lot. I wanted to run through as many as I possibly could. Um, but yeah, so when you are done with the trick, all you do is it's actually not possible to get out of this uh, time stop state until you leave the area. So you have to like navigate out of here with reverse controls uh, to get out of this state, basically. And all you have to do is you roll out through this way. And then once that happens, boom, you're done. You got all your stuff, you're broken out of the time stop state, and yeah, there you go. Yeah, I hope this helped you guys. If you need um, any more help, definitely don't hesitate to ask me on stream um, or like shoot me a message, something if you're learning a category. Uh, I'm definitely more than willing to help. But um, this is a very confusing trick. So I definitely expect to have left something out or have like questions for you guys. Um, but yeah, so I'll put, again, I'll put as many um, like setups in the description as I possibly can for you guys just so you know and have a good reference point on what uh, like works with what like collision angles and whatnot but uh, yeah hopefully this helped and I hope to see you guys doing some runs so thank you for watching and I will see you guys later